Hi, hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to see about the daily aptitude day 48 solution. So today's aptitude questions I have taken from the concept of time and work. So we are going to discuss about three questions in detail in this video. So if you are new to this channel and have not subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel for more videos. And also if you want to apply for any of the off-campus recruitment jobs, I have posted many off-campus recruitment jobs like Tata Technologies, IBM, Wipro, Zoho, so every companies of campus are still available and the last date has not been over yet. So if you want to apply for any of those jobs, you can watch that video and apply in that particular uh, company. So let's get into today's topic. So today's aptitude questions, we are not going to solve it in the board. Uh, just uh, I have made the solution in the word document itself. So I'm going to explain it in the uh, as a PPT format only. So we will see the first question. A can do a particular work in six days. B can do the same work in eight days. A and B signed to do it for uh, something. Uh, they have mentioned the amount as 3200. They completed the work in three days with the help of C. How much is to be paid to C? So what they are saying is A is working for certain days and B is working for uh, certain days that is to do the uh, particular work uh, a is taking six days and b is taking eight days and a and b have signed an agreement that both will receive 3200 in overall so they completed the work in three days with the help of c so they hired a person called c and with the help of person c they completed the work in three days itself so how much is to be paid to c we have to identify so the first thing what we will do is amount of work a can do in one day so they have mentioned the overall uh, days uh, for a to complete the work now we are finding the amount of work a can do in one day so which is going to be one by six that is inversely we have to write that so amount of work b can do in one day is going to be one by eight so a and b combinedly work means what will be the uh, total work completed how we will find means one by six plus one by eight if you do means you will get the total work done by a and b so amount of work a b and c together did in one day so they have said that with the help of c both a and b have completed the same work in three days so one day's work will be one by three so now we are going to find the amount of work done by c in a single day so that only we can divide the amount based on the work what he has done so amount of work c can do in one day is going to be so total a b and c total one by three minus a and b together if you subtract means you will get the one day work of c so finding out the ratio so 1 by 6 is to 1 by 8 is to 1 by 24 you will get the uh, ratio as 4 is to 3 is to 1 so what is going to be the ratio of c 1 so 1 by total work is going to be 8 so 3200 is the total amount so 3200 into 1 by 8 if you do means you will get the answer as 400 so 400 is the answer for the first question so next let's see the second question so second question is going to be six men and eight women can complete a work in 10 days 26 men and 48 women can finish the same work in two days 15 men and 20 women can do the same work in so this you can solve it in the equation form so first we will find the equation so let work done by one man in one day is going to be m so work done by one woman in one day is equal to b we have taken so work done by six men and eight women in one day is going to be one by ten so what we are saying they have mentioned that uh, six men and eight women can complete the work in 10 days so one day's work will be one by ten so we are writing in the equation form so 6m plus 8b because man we have assumed as m woman we have assumed as b so 6m plus 8b is equal to 1 by 10 if you cross multiply means you will get the first equation as 60m plus 80b is equal to 1 similar way you will do it for the 26 men and 48 women they can complete uh, the work in one day is equal to 1 by 2 so forming the equation you will get it as 52m plus 96b is equal to 1 solving those two equation you will get the m and b value so substituting the m and b value in the particular men and women what they have given so 15 men and 20 women can do the same work in they have asked so 15 into m plus 20 into b if you do means you will get the 
answer for 15 men and 20 women in one day work will be 1 by 4 they have asked the total work to complete so you have to inverse it so totally it takes four days for them to complete the same work and the final question if you see means p is able to do a piece of work in 15 days and q can do the same work in 20 days if they can work together for four days what is the fraction of work left so p can complete the piece of work in 15 days q completes it in 20 days so they both are working for four days together they are working and what is the fraction of work left they are asking so how we will find so 1 by 15 is going to be the amount of work done by p in one day amount of work done by q in one day is going to be 1 by 20 so together they are working for one day means you will get the answer as 7 by 60 so together they are working for four days so four into one day's work you will do so four into seven by 60 you will get the answer as 7 by 15 so total work will be considered as one so one minus uh, the four days work if you do means you will get the remaining fraction of work that is going to be 8 by 15. So I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. And if you are new to this channel and have not subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel for more videos. So see you in the next video. Until then, stay tuned. Signing off from you. Bye. Take care.